What's up? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. This is day number four on the Southbound Rock Tour. We're here at Table Rock Lake. I am pre-fishing for the FLW Costa Tournament that starts Thursday. Today is Tuesday, so I got one more day to pre-fish after today. Tomorrow, I'm pumped for it. I'm gonna unhook the boat here, get ready to go. I just got light out, so the fish should be feeding, I hope. Um, but a lot of times on these colder days, the fish don't start feeding until it warms up in the middle of the afternoon. Huge warm fronts coming in, so it's going to be a lot warmer than it has been the past few days. I think it's supposed to get up to 80 degrees today, which could change things. It could be a game changer. It could cause these fish to move up shallow and want to spawn, but we will figure them out. I got to go where the fish goes. So we're going to buckle down and get after them today. We'll see you out there on the water. Wife Cody's driving down. She's gonna come pre-fishing this afternoon with me, so she'll be in this video later today. And then she's gonna fish with me tomorrow as well. I'm excited she's coming. She's never been to one of my pro tournaments before, so it'll be nice having her along. But as always, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get to fishing. I just dumped the boat in. I had to use this gravel ramp because the actual boat ramp is too shallow. I think both tires front and back on my truck would be underwater using that ramp i just tried it it was ridiculous so i put in on this ramp uh there's a lot steeper drop i'm fine with putting in on pea gravel not a big deal i put in on ponds sometimes so it doesn't bother me Whoa. there we go she's cold but i'm gonna let her warm up for a couple minutes and we'll get to fishing i'm fishing way up the river today where a lot of rednecks fish not gonna lie Check this out, big old spoonbill head. Somebody snagged a spoonbill up here. That is pretty nasty, wow. But I've never been spoonbill snagging. I'd love to try it sometime, sounds like a lot of fun. We also got some vultures sitting over here on a tree. Just looks like a place for dead things. But hopefully there's bass in here. Another thing that's a little odd, I'm the only bass boat that's out here this morning. Um, I'm probably 50 miles from takeoff right now, so maybe that's why nobody wants to drive this far to catch slaunches, but hey, if that's where they're feeding, I'm going to drive that far in the tournament, so we'll find out. Today is the day to test the waters. Okay, here we go, spot number one for the day. I always forget to take this off. Spot number one, here we go. going to get out a few rods here real quick. What do I want today? I'll definitely be using the shaky head sometime today. That is a good all around bait. I'll probably be using, I know I'll be using this crankbait. That's what I'm going to start with. I'll probably be using the spinner bait. Get that out. I might throw the Carolina rig out around here on this flat this morning. And we'll just stick with that for now. That's plenty of rods out. Well, next spot. We're gonna keep going, see if we can find some more fish up here. This flat didn't pan out this morning. Try this a little bit deeper spot over here by this bluff end. The bluff ends right here, transitions into a more chunk rock bank down to pea gravel so hopefully some bass are transitioning because they want to spawn on that pea gravel oh there's a fish in there he almost felt like he was on a bed like he didn't want to take it hmm weird That's a good one. All right. Wow. Ha. First fish of the day. Three and a half. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Look at that. Took four flips in there to catch him, but he was right in between these two trees. Let's see, buddy. Go back home. Yeah, buddy. Right there. He's going to spawn under those probably. Oh, set the hook, baby. 
All right, fish on. It's just a little dink. <laughs> I'm on the phone and catching a fish. That's hilarious. All right, see you, buddy. I see this huge lay down. I got to fish it. I got at least cast on this lay down. You know, if there's a fish on it, there's probably going to be a fish on it here two days in the tournament. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Not even on the lay down yet. Caught one. All right. What's up, largemouth? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for biting. See ya. Get a little bigger. There's one. Little guy. Just sitting there behind that boulder. See ya. Not bad, 14 incher. The water's a little clearer than yesterday uh, down towards Arkansas where I was fishing that red crank. Again, this has a little red on the bottom but more of an orange craw pattern. I think they'll bite it better in this clear water. Haven't really got a good fish on that red one yet, just some dinks. So I'm gonna fling this one around, see how it does. There's one. Third cast with the DT-10. How about that? Little tiny bass. <laughs> Hooked him in the side. Oh, he bounced off. See, you, buddy. There's one. Man, he felt like a log when he ate it. Just hit it super slow. It's coming right at me. I think it's a good one. Oh yeah, that'll work right in this pocket. That is a good one there, Slaunch. Oh yeah. Big mama. There we go. That will work. That is a four, four and a half pounder. Swim back to your home, big mama. We'll see you on tournament day, hopefully. Oh yeah. Oh. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's off for now. She came right out of this corner. We got some gravel coming into this transition to pea gravel with a lay down. Just hooked up. Came up the river further, so I put on just a solid red crank bait. Little spotted bass. Not bad. Fishing right next to this bridge over here. You got the rocks in the background. All right, good little spot, see ya. There we go, just hooked up again under this bridge. Nice little spot. But he is small, not what we're looking for, but fun to catch. See ya. Oh yeah, there we go. Feels like a better one. Oh, a little large mouth. Bigger than the last two spots, I guess. That'll work. About the same size, little guy, 12 incher. Had him hooked sideways, felt bigger. Had the camera off, but I just caught a little keeper by this stump in the water. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, he was hanging out by this stump. Good fish. See ya. There we go. Just cast in behind this dock and hooked up with a good one. Yeah, get a little two, two and a half pounder. That'll work. A little pre-spawn female. See ya. There he is. Good one. Came off this lay down up here. That'll work. That'll work. A little pound and a halfer. Barely a keeper probably. 14, 15 inches. Not bad. All right, just picked Cody up. We're gonna go out and try to find a few more fish. It's been a decent day so far. I've probably caught 20 to 25 bass. Only five, six keepers though, a lot of shorts. But it is warming up. Had my shirt off some today. It's just a beautiful day. So let's go. We're gonna head about five miles down the river and keep fishing. Oh, Cody's hooked up. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Black and blue beaver. 
I'm not stumped. That's right. Got here 20 minutes. Already got one. Nice. Well, we're just getting off the water. We got about an hour of daylight left. Didn't really catch any more to speak of this afternoon. Check out all these vultures. Wow. Squirrel. There's like 30 of them. Yeah, squirrel. Anyway, practice day four was not too bad. It was definitely better this morning. It got kind of rough this afternoon. We're going to call it a night, go get some dinner, head out early in the morning for practice day number five. You can hear that big old jet boat in the background. Somebody's got a cigar boat They're about to get out. Stay tuned for the next tournament video, practice day number five. We'll see you next time on Fishing with Norby.